Fred McGuffin Reviews. Doberman from 1997. This is a French movie. And it's available on YouTube. And it's action, comedy and crime. And it's directed by Jan Koonen. And stars Vincent Cazille. Who's, who plays Doberman. He's a, he's a criminal. He's a bank robber. I'm going to read the back of the box. Doberman is the world's most ruthless bank robber. And with his gang rob bank after bank. What can the police do but let the mad, morally bankrupt police commissioner loose on him? So yeah, that's what you get here. Now the police commissioner is played by... I can't say this name. I can say the surname, Cario, but I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put it up there. And he plays Commissioner Sauver. And then you have Monica Belushi. He's, he plays Natalie. And she's part of the, the bank robber gang. Now, Vincent Cazel, Cazil, you may know him from La Haine, Elizabeth, Brotherhood of the Wolf, Irreversible, Eastern Promises, Mezrine 1 and 2, and Black Swan. To name but a few. And he's not great in this. I think, I think after La Haine, he was popular for his type of movie. Crazy criminal, but yeah, this this whole movie just left left me just felt flat and very forgettable. The action wasn't great, comedy wasn't great, crime wasn't great. Um, now the commissioner is played by, as I said, this guy, but he's also in the Kita, the Core, the Patriot, Bad Boys. Brian Freeman, Golden Eye, Wing Commander, and Kiss the Dragon. And between him and Vincent Cazil, they both starred in a lot of. If you needed a French actor, these were the two guys, especially in the 90s and early 90s. These were the two guys you'd give a, give a ring to, or you'd call. Monica Belushi, Dracula 92, Brotherhood of, Brotherhood of the Wolf. Irreversible, The Matrix, Revolution, and Reloaded, Shoot 'em Up, and Spectre. And she doesn't say much in this, but she's there. Yeah, there's another movie I saw called Killing Zoe. And was that directed by one of the writers of one of the writers of Pulp Fiction? Maybe it was. I'm not sure, but yeah, look, this it look there's some cool Flashy images, some cool angles, camera angles, and doing its best to entertain. But yeah, it felt a bit like Killing Zoe, just flat and forgettable. And it's a shame. There's a lot of talents, a lot of, a lot of talent involved here, especially with the cast. But look, it's free on YouTube. Check it out if you. If you want to see Vincent Cazell in an airy role, and his hair extensions are mighty, I give this a two out of five. Fred McGuffin's reviewed Doberman. <laughs>